All right, Yelani, we got one more. The inverted YouTube manometer. So the inverted YouTube manometer contains oil with a specific gravity of 0 0.9 and water. So the pressure differential between the pipes A and B is negative five kilopascals. Determine the differential reading H. All right, so first step, knowns. Let's see what we're dealing with here. We got a specific gravity they mentioned in the problem. Um, that is 0 0.9. We're dealing with water. So gamma of water, we're working with meters and kilopascals. So it's gonna be 98.10 Newton per meter cubed. We got its oil. Hmm. So if it's oil, we could get the specific gravity as well. I mean, specific weight. And we just pretty much just multiply 0 0.9 times gamma of water. So that's going to give you 8829 Newton per meter cubed. So we got that. And finally, we also know the difference in pressures between the two pipes. Now it's important to know it's PA minus PB, not the other way around. Just keep that in mind. That is negative 5,000 Pascals or Newton per meter squared. Okay, so this one should be pretty straightforward. We're just looking for H. We know everything else. Um, we don't know the pressure here or the pressure here, but we know the difference. So we should be good. Let's move on to step two, the equation. So let's start at A, let's end at point B and see where that goes. So pressure at A, we go up, up until this point right here. So that distance, we're going up, so that's a negative. We're dealing with water. So let's put gamma of water times 0 0.2, because we're going from this point to this point, not H. So 0 0.2. And I'm not gonna include the units, right? Meters, Newton per meter cubed, that's gonna give you a pressure unit. So we're at this point now. Now from this point to this point, that distance is H. So now we're going from here, going down, so that's a positive. That's gamma of oil times H, the height we're looking for pretty much. Okay, so now we're here. Now we're going down again, but this time we're dealing with water. So we're gonna add, because we're going down, gamma of water times the height, 0 0.3. Uh, put the meters, same thing, whatever. And that's equal to our destination, PB. So what I'm gonna do, we pretty much have every unit except H. We don't have PA or PB, but we got the difference. We got gamma of water, gamma of oil, the heights, except this one, we should be good. So let's move PB over here and let's put in parentheses to not get confused. PA minus PB, right? That's these two units, these two, um, whatever you call them. Uh, minus, let's start plugging in some numbers, 98, 10, times 0 0.2 plus gamma of oil, that is 8829 times our height that we're looking for, plus 9810, right, gamma of water times 0 0.3 is equal to 0, this moved over here. We know this value right here. That's why I like to do parentheses just in case I mess up, but it's negative 5,000. It's easy to get confused with signs. So always use parentheses. Minus, multiply these two, you'll get a 1962 even, plus 8829 times H plus a two nine four three that's equal to zero 
So we can combine every unit. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add all these three. There's two negatives, but I'm gonna add them all three and move them to that side. So you'll end up with eight, eight, two, nine, H is equal to, you'll get a, if you add all these three, you'll get negative 40, 19, but if you move to the other side, you'll get a positive 40, 19. And solve for H, you should be good at 0 0.455 meters. And that's pretty straightforward on this one. Um, nothing too crazy, just that sometimes problems are gonna ask you to solve for height, sometimes for the specific weight of this fluid that in some cases we might not know. And yeah, other than that, sorry, I'm not sure you can see it, but there it is. H is equal to 0 0.455, and we should be good on this one.